Welcome to a culinary adventure that will transport you to the heart of Nigeria's rich and diverse cuisine. Today, we're going to explore the art of cooking ofoari, a traditional Igbo soup that is as delightful to the taste buds as it is to the senses. Bursting with flavors and vibrant ingredients, ofoari is a dish that embodies the essence of Nigerian culture and hospitality. But don't worry if you're new to Nigerian cuisine or cooking in general. I'm here to guide you through the process and share with you the easiest way to prepare this mouth-watering soup in the comfort of your own kitchen. Together, we'll uncover the secrets behind its aromatic blend of spices, the harmony of its ingredients, and the simplicity of its preparation. So, whether you're a seasoned home cook looking to expand your culinary repertoire or a curious food lover eager to explore new flavors, get ready to embark on a culinary journey that will leave you with a newfound appreciation for Nigerian cuisine. Let's gather our ingredients, roll up our sleeves, and dive into the irresistible world of ofoari. Ofoari is a delicious Nigerian soup made with a combination of meats, vegetables, and traditional spices. Here's the step-by-step -step guide on how to prepare ofoari. These are the ingredients I will use. 2 kilo of beef, cut in medium pieces. 1 kilo of smoked fish acer, cut in medium size. Stockfish, for medium sized and chopped in small pieces. Yukazi leaves, shredded, 2 small bunches. Agu leaves, 2 small bunches. Smoked prawns, 1 cup. Dried pepper, 1 tablespoon or to taste. Onion, 1 small bulb. Cocoa yam, red type, for medium size. Palm oil, 2 cooking spoons. Seasoning and salt, to taste. Now pay attention to the instructions. 1. Prepare the ingredients. Wash the beef thoroughly and cut it into medium-sized pieces. Soak the stockfish in hot water to soften it. Once softened, cut it into smaller pieces. Rinse the smoked fish and remove any bones. Wash the ukazi leaves and shred them into small pieces. Wash the ugwa leaves and slice them thinly. Rinse the smoked prawns to remove any dirt. Chop the onion into small pieces. Peel and wash the cocoa yam. Cut them into small chunks. 2. Cook the meats. Place the beef and stockfish in a pot. Add enough water to cover the meats and season with salt and seasoning. Cook over medium heat until the meats are tender. This may take about 30 to 40 minutes. Once cooked, set aside the meats and reserve the stock. 3. Prepare the cocoa yam paste. Boil the cocoa yam chunks until they become soft and easy to mash. Drain the water and peel the cocoa yam. Mash the cocoa yam into a smooth paste using a mortar and pestle or a blender. Set aside the cocoa yam paste. 4. Cook the soup. Heat the palm oil in a separate pot. Add the chopped onions and saute until they become translucent. Add the dried pepper and stir for a few seconds. Pour in the meat stock and bring it to a gentle boil. Add the smoked prawns, smoked fish, and ukazi leaves. Stir well. Allow the soup to simmer for about 10 minutes. 5. Thicken the soup. Add the mashed cocoa yam paste bit by bit, stirring continuously to avoid lumps. Continue cooking for an additional 5 to 10 minutes, until the soup thickens to your desired consistency. 6. Add the vegetables. Add the ugwa leaves to the soup and stir. Allow the soup to simmer for another 2 to 3 minutes until the ugwa leaves are wilted. 
7. Season and serve. Taste the soup and adjust the seasoning and salt according to your preference. Remove the pot from heat and let it sit for a few minutes before serving. Ofoari is traditionally served with fufu, pounded yam, or any other Nigerian swallow. Enjoy your homemade ofoari. Congratulations! You've successfully mastered the art of preparing ofoari, and I'm sure your taste buds are eagerly awaiting the delightful flavors that await. But don't stop here. If you enjoyed this culinary adventure and want to continue exploring the world of delicious recipes, then be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on our upcoming videos, where we'll share more tantalizing recipes from around the globe. From mouthwatering stews to delectable desserts, our culinary journey together has only just begun. So, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more cooking inspiration that will elevate your kitchen skills, and take your taste buds on a flavorful ride. Remember, the world of food is vast and filled with endless possibilities. So, let's embark on this gastronomic adventure together and continue to create magic in the kitchen. Subscribe now and be prepared to tantalize your senses with our upcoming videos. Happy cooking!